Welcome to this Stockbox interview with John Teeling, the CEO of Arca Resources. Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm medium, medium to well. Okay, okay, that's good. So we want to talk uh, today on the interview about the RNS this morning that Arca released, where you give an update on Arca's gold projects. So can you tell investors what work has been done? Well, we're very pleased with the results that we have from our work in Donegal, where we were waiting for the results of a very detailed, close soil sampling program on, on an area where we had worked on before. And in, in the present environment, it's very difficult to get permission from the government and to get staff and to get all the various people to work. So they've done well to get it as far as that. The results are very positive. We were trying to extend an area around the old Glen Tucker mine and Minera in, in an area which has similar ge geology to Dalradian, which is across the border from us, and to Scott Gold in Scotland. And the results are very positive in that we have identified a number of areas now that need to be trenched first, and then they will need to be drilled. And what we're doing now is we're just analyzing that. And very shortly, hopefully in the next, during November, um, we will identify and negotiate areas to trench. We will do that to identify where the veins are going and to try and trench across them. And that should give us the best places to drill. Um, very positive results because we had done some work before. A couple of years ago, we had very good results in Donegal, in the Mean or the Glen Tucker area, very, you know, um, 10 meters of, of five gram gold, which will be good. And then we, we stepped out about six or eight kilometers. We got a bit too greedy, expecting to find the vein had gone there and we didn't get it. So this is, there's been a big revision to have a look at it again. And we've got much closer to it now to see, can we expand what were the good results that we had two years ago? So yeah, the RNS mentioned about some, some further work, some trenching and drilling. So you reckon about November time that'll be happening? Well, we have to, we have to again, in the present environment, and, and it's winter, which is not great up in Donegal, uh, very short days and to get into the fields. We have to analyze the, the data, which will be fairly quick. I'd say, I'd say that could be done in the next couple of weeks. And thereafter, you'd have to get permission of the government to trench, which nobody works in the offices. You have to agree with the farmers to trench and to get some people to do it. Now, in our, in our other project, we, we've managed to do all of that. But I would be hopeful that we would do it as soon as possible. Um, we had a good relationship with, with some of the farmers there and that um, we, we did what we said we would do. And I hope that can continue and that will make it easier. Okay, great. And also in the RNS, I noticed that you said that um, the similarities with the Minera gold discovery also made by Arkel. Can you tell us about this discovery and, and why it's good that the Donegal project bears similarities? It's the same geology as, as Minera. It's really an extension of Minera. We wanted to extend it out to see if we can get the same good gold results. Now, now we know we have the indicators the strong indicators, we will trench to see that we actually have the veins, and then we'll have to drill to see what the grade is. That's the way it'll go. Um, and Minera itself is the reason we're in Donegal is because it had very similar ge identical geology to that of the very large little radian gold deposit just across the border. And indeed, if you push farther northeast across the, the sea to Scotland, that's where the Scots gold geology is the same, and some of the, the work that's currently being done up around Aberdeenshire and Perthshire. Okay, great. And, and finally, John, uh, you announced that trenching has commenced on targets in Wexford and Wicklow. Can you tell us about this programme? In fact, uh, your timing is very good because it actually commenced this morning and our geologist uh, was on the field and that's why he's not on this interview. He's out in, in the field. Wicklow Wexford gold has been something we've been looking at for a long time and there have been very good results and very bad results because it's veins. We have done a lot of work now over a number of years. Uh, in both Arkel and in a joint venture with a different group. And we have focused in on this area. It's a play, an area called Tom Breen and Knocknalur, a couple of kilometers apart from each other, on the bar, uh, just north of Carnew in Wexford on the Wicklow Waterford area. Now it's a well-known gold area. Um, it had a gold mine a couple of hundred years ago, but nobody's been able to prove it up and nobody's found the source. And so what we've managed to do there, we did the same thing as we did in Donegal. We did close, um, soil sampling, analyzed those and ended up with 10 targets. We are hoping now we're trenching, 100 yard trenches, 100 meter trenches, started today, this morning, um, across these targets. And the result of that, that will give us the, the, the drilling targets. When you're drilling for, when you're drilling for um, gold in veins, it's very easy to miss the vein, really easy. It might be only a meter, two meters wide. 
So you really want to be as precise as possible in doing this. If we, well, I'd expect we will find veins and then we'd have to design a drilling target. This program would take, maybe it'll take probably November and the results there, it'll be, it'll be early in the new year, but it's good. And we, what we want to do there is to align, if possible, the very good results we had in Tom Breen, some very high grade gold and in Nocknalur, a few kilometers apart, we want to see if we can join the two areas. Okay, well, that is well timed then. And I'm sure uh, we'll be talking again as, as things progress. I look forward to, to following the story. But, uh, but yeah, John Teeling, the CEO of Arca Resources, thank you very much for your time. Tom. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you for listening to this Stockbox interview. For more information, interviews and videos, visit our website at stockboxmedia.com or give us a follow on Twitter by searching at Stockbox Media.